Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I am currently working. It is 1.36, so it's already the afternoon. I shouldn't say good morning, I should say good afternoon. But I um, have been working. I plan on going to my classroom for the very first time today. Um, I mean, I won't get any uh, decorating done, but I do need to place the furniture and just kind of be in the room and see, are y'all like that? When I go back to the classroom for the very first time in the summer, I just like to sit in the room and get a feel for the space and like, see where I want to put different areas, like the classroom library or the small group area, just things like that. Do y'all do that? Maybe I'm just weird, but I just, I need to be in the space for a little bit. So I plan on doing that today, hopefully anyways, but I do need to get a little bit of work done. I, as you can tell, I'm not in my office. Sometimes I just need to get a change of scenery to get some more work done. So I have moved my workspace into the living room. I am using one of these little um, Target, carts those are the most helpful little things i have four in my classroom that i use at the end of each table then i have one here this one that i use for hair products because i don't like to get ready the bathrooms in this house are very small so i get ready in my bedroom and i just sit on the floor so i keep all my hair products on here but um it also doubles as a workspace so i as you can tell i've brought my let's see if y'all can see I am currently listening, let me flip you guys around so that you can see, currently listening to the Mean Girls on Broadway soundtrack, which is just oh, my absolute favorite, and I am working on revamping my warm-ups, so they are getting a much-needed update, and I had forgotten I made these four years ago, you guys. I had forgotten how much I um, put into them and how much I am loving them. So that's what I'm working on right now. So basically all I'm doing is um, reformatting. They had an old clip art on each one, but I just kind of wanted to redesign them. And I don't know, my style more is more um, not as much with graphics anymore or those types of illustrations. And it's just more like I don't know simple I guess so I took the illustrations off or the not the illustrations I took the images off and um, I'm updating the font because some of the font I didn't have on this computer um, and some of the font I didn't like anymore I thought it was kind of hard to read so that's what I'm doing right now just going through and updating all of these there's a hundred there's oh, there's not 108 I think there's 175 yeah, 100, can y'all say it, 175. So there's quite a few left to do. There's different tasks in these. Um, well, there's vocabulary skills, and I was trying to show you one of my favorites. Oh, it's the diagram of the spider. I love it. So they're just different um, tasks that the kids can do, and um, they can do them as warm-ups or just you know as task one of the um comments that i got on these often were um was about the numbering and they wish that i didn't have them numbered so i am doing a version um where it's not going to be numbered it'll just be warm-ups right now it's like warm-up number 76 and number 83 so this new version will have that if you still want to do the numbers and it'll have one that's not numbered for you guys so um if you already own this it'll just be something that you go in and you re-download it um, so I'll include the link down below if you want to check it out. It's later in the afternoon. It's almost 3 o'clock. I'm about to go to my classroom and work for the very first time. But this happened earlier. I know I have a problem. But I got a bunch of nonfiction books for the kids that I'm so, so super excited about. And I thought I would share with you guys. So if you have followed me on Instagram. Oh, I'm cutting my head off. I'm so sorry. If you have followed me on Instagram for a long time, you know that I absolutely love fiction and I struggle with nonfiction. It's just a genre that I do not like. I like it better than I used to, but I just always navigate toward fiction. So when you look at my picture book collection and my classroom library in general, I have a ton of fiction, but not so much nonfiction. So I started um, back in the spring at the end of last year to try and really start building up my collection of nonfiction. So it's getting a little bit better, slowly but surely it's getting better. So I added, a, um, how many? Three, three new books 
um, to my nonfiction collection today. One is a picture book, one is just like a book of um, quotes and things you'll see in a second, and then um, one is like another book like, just filled with facts about different people, which I'll show you in just a second. So let's start with the picture book first because I'm super excited about it. So the picture book is Up in the Leaves. Now this is the true story of the Central Park Treehouse. I have never heard of the Central Park Treehouse. I'm sorry, I probably can't even hear what I'm saying with all that crinkling of the back. I had never heard of the Central Park Treehouse, but apparently um, it was about a boy. I don't know how old he was when he did this, but he started building treehouses in Central Park and they would mysteriously be taken down. And every time he would find one that had been taken down, he would build another one in its place. So I'm really excited to read this. I do like that it's narrative nonfiction. And um, I did like and appreciate that it wasn't so lengthy because that's the problem that I find. Like, this is what most of the pages look like. That's the problem that I find with most nonfiction books. They don't make good read alouds because they are so lengthy and they are filled with so much information that you just can't engage the students when you just sit down and do a read aloud with it because there's so much information and, you know, just so much to get through. So I appreciated that this was nonfiction, but it wasn't that lengthy. So I'm excited to share that one with the kids. Okay, so the next one that I picked up was what I thought was the one that I picked up in a second I'll show you guys but this is what I thought it was this is kid presidents true tales from of childhood from America America's presidents so this follows the childhood of all of our um, presidents so I thought it would be neat and again it does it in like a an easy to read format so like this one's Andrew Jackson so it has illustrations in it but it's also just sort of like an anthology with different little short stories. I thought it was really neat. Most of them are like under 20, um, 20 or so pages and then it goes on to the next one. I thought this one was super neat for kids who like history. Um, I just thought it was a real neat little nonfiction book to add to the classroom library. So I'm excited about this one. Now, I thought this one was Kid President when I saw it because the spine, you see it just says Kid President and I thought it was, you know, the Kid President from uh, YouTube which is just so inspiring and motivating and we need more of him in the world. Me and the girl who checked me out at Barnes Noble was talking about how wonderful he was and how we just need more Kid Presidents out there. So, then I found this one and I just had to have it, y'all. This one is Kid President's Guide to Being Awesome. This has his different quotes and different sayings and I just thought it would be neat to have in the classroom library for the kids to read it but also just to like use in lessons and in character building and maybe like in a quote thing I don't know something there's just it was just too good to not get so I am super excited about this I love kid president but I have to be careful when I show um, his YouTube videos in class because I have to watch them beforehand or I will cry. He's just so sweet and inspiring and if if I watch them in class I have to know beforehand what he's going to say or I will just cry. Like our counselor came in and did a lesson one day and she showed him and I, mean, I just had to look away. I don't know what it is. I just, you know, he's just wonderful and the world is just so cruel sometimes so we need more of him in the world. I just have to prepare myself ahead of time. I go to Barnes Noble a whole bunch, but I do have an educator's card there um, and it saves you 20% on everything and it does help out a lot. So, you know, yeah. We don't have a lot of good thrift stores around here. That's something that we lack. I know a lot of people have like Value Village or um, oh, there's another one that's like a big um, thrift store that's just catered toward books. We don't have anything like that. So that educator card does help and you know, it's for the kids. So that's my justification again so anyways i am um going to put these away and i'm going to take them to the classroom because i can finally get in the classroom today and i am going to go and hopefully get a fill of the room and place some furniture and take down some boards because i didn't take down boards at the end of the year i just left everything up on the walls and that's not gonna how that's not gonna be how it is um for the next school year so it will be a demolition day and i will take you guys along so that you can see Okay, I am headed to the classroom. Look at my back seat. 
it is packed I'm ready to go I will show you guys what the classroom looks like when I get there with the shiny pretty floors that are brand new and waiting to be decorated So we are here in my classroom. I'm going to take you around and show you what it looks like right now. Like I said, this of course is the before, but I do want you to see what the room looked like before it um, is finished for the new school year. I am going to take down all of the things on the wall because I have new plans for the year and um, it just needs to be taken down because I want a new look and I want to be re-motivated and the best way to get there for me is to just redo everything. So I want to show you real quickly what everything looks like and then I've got to get busy. Okay, so I didn't even erase the board from that last day or the last set of vocabulary words, but all that of course will have to come down. Um, my bookshelves are right here in the middle of the classroom. The Ag Department at my school built these for me. There are two of those. And then our genre display. Technically, I could leave all this up and just take down the um, words, but you see it's already coming down, which it does last the entire school year, um, just with staples and tacks, because of course this is the sheetrock wall. I do have um, cinder block walls on the rest. And I do hot glue for that, but um, I am gonna take this down this I'm going to take down two. Those um, were our AR clubs. I'm going to take those down. Posters. I may actually leave those up because I do like those and I like where they're at. They're okay. Um, the read right there. I, I have different plans for this door. I don't like that. Um, the Instagram VIP wall. I, um, I'm going to take that down I think. I don't know what I'm going to do right there yet but I do want to take it down. Here is my evidence board, which I always have up here because it's the um, the most visual spot and that's of course our most important board because we refer to that all the time, every time in our constructed responses. So I, um, I definitely want to redo that one. Now, let me explain. It looks like this because the bookshelves were over here and so you couldn't see them. So I didn't have that up the entire Year. it wasn't like that um, I did move my desk here it wasn't here last year I want to put it right there this time um, this was where we did our traits roots and idioms for the week those have to be redone um, actually I may get away with just leaving the paper up and redoing like the um, the posters that I follow on but they they need to be redone the book bank I can make my way over there. The book bank was where the kids, um, I've already taken half of it down, but where the kids would draw the book covers to the picture books that we read for picture book a day right there. And then we would chart like the genres that we had read that week or that month. Um, there are my tables. I do folding tables. Um, and here are the chairs, of course. I do folding chairs. And then here is our... Um, uh, our morning meeting or our, the beginning of class meeting, we would always do it, but I'm going to do something different um, this year. I mean, like the same format, but I'm going to uh, structure it differently. So that's going to go classroom rules, and then we are back to the door. So that was my quick classroom tour, the before edition. I'm going to get busy now, and then I will... Um, hopefully get something done and feel good about the furniture placement that's all I want to accomplish now. So wish me luck.
day one of classroom makeover 2018. I haven't done a whole, whole bunch. I am going to show you guys, but you're probably going to go, oh my goodness, what did she even do? I've only been here for about, I don't know, 30 minutes, but it's the late afternoon. I'm exhausted and it's a slow process these first couple of trips until you actually get down to like the new decorating and the new bulge boards. That's when it gets fun. This part's just the hard part. So I'm done, but I do want to show you guys what I did so that you can follow along and see the progress. Okay, so I took down the word wall. All of that is gone. I have placed the bookshelves. This is where the classroom library is going to be. There's going to be rugs there when I get the rugs and like the cozy seating, all of this stuff right here. But um, I have the furniture placed. I want to put the new word wall up before I do like the rugs and stuff. So that's why I haven't done that. Um, I took that board down. That was like our homeroom positive meaning uh, board, positive thought for the day that just didn't really take off like I had wanted it to. So I'm going to have to find something else to do um, there. And then I've taken down the um, Instagram board where we did our class VIPs. Um, now this is cinder block wall. And you can see, I haven't taken down, I hot glue on mine, that's the only way it'll stay up. It's never been a problem. It peels right off. It just has paper that's still attached to it. And I haven't gone and picked it off. You have to pick it off. And so it, it does hurt your fingernails, but it peels right off and it doesn't leave a spot. I only had one paint to uh, peel off when I taught first grade in one of the rooms. And I don't know why it did it because every other uh, classroom I've ever had that's had paint in it doesn't peel. But for some reason that one did but this one you just peel it right off i just haven't done that yet and i've also taken down the evidence board and i've got to brainstorm on what i want the new one to look like so that's what i have done this classroom visit trip so yes it doesn't look like a whole whole bunch but that's exhausting work so i'm excited for the progress that i have made but I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. Um, tomorrow should have a lot of work involved in it. And then I've got to go and pick up my house plans that the architect is finished with. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, it is Monday morning. Well, almost lunchtime Monday. It's um, 10.30 right now. I'm getting a late start. I did wake up this morning about six and I had to put the final touches on a blog post that I did. I am sharing a new, or I'm starting a new mini series on the blog called Picture Books to Teach. And um, each week there will be a different skill highlighted. So this week it was theme. So I had to add um, the last four images to that post and then get everything posted. So I did that this morning and then I had to stop and get ready. So I'm just now getting to um, video for the day or vlog for the day. Um, and I am trying to decide what I want to do. I've got to go um, into town later this afternoon, pick up house plans and I also have to pick up makeup. I am out of my makeup currently. Um, <laughs> you know it's bad when you have to like tip the bottle over and let it um, go down to the very bottom and then just unscrew the lid very carefully and put it on your hand. So I am in desperate need of makeup. Um, but I do need to get in a little bit of um, work done. I've got two blog posts to write for this week. I have um, my grad class. I need to log in and see what's due in that. Um, I need to actually create a notebook for that because I'm feeling a bit unorganized with that. Um, I'm feeling a bit unorganized with everything. So I may actually, before I sit down and do any work, I may um, clean up and organize my office. That might make me feel better. Um, if I can film any of that, I will show you guys. But I'm not going to let you see the whole office right now because it is so, so messy. So incredibly messy. So um, maybe I'll just show you the after if I can. Um, but anyways, I got a package in the mail today. Let me flip it over, which is just a brown box right now, but I wanted to unbox it with y'all because it's a middle grade novel that, um, an author's publishing company sent and it looks like a really neat book, um, to add to your classroom library. It came in this neat box like this. Um, see, I can't even have to move stuff out of the way on my desk to get it but when you open it up here let me show you guys when you 
open it up, there's a card that says, this magical box was personally created and boxed just for you by D.E. and Knott. And then on the back, there's a pretty image. The series is called Crowns of Croswald. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I like the tissue paper. How cute is that? It reminds me of Harry Potter. Look at that. That's neat. I love little neat packages like this. I don't know what that is. Well, I'm doing an awful job of showing you guys on camera. We'll, un um, we'll unwrap that in just a second. But here, there's a card. That's neat. And then here's the actual book. Let me show you. No, there's another card. I'm so sorry. Another card. Oh, and there's her info that you guys can see. Let's see the book. Now we're at the book. Now let me move this box so that you guys can see it a little bit better. Here it is. The Crowns of Crosswall by D.E. Knott. Look at the cover. It looks really neat. Um, so this, of course, would be a high fantasy novel for your classroom library. I'll let you read the synopsis there on the back. Um, I was going to see that, yeah, there are little illustrations on the chapter headers. So, that looks like a really neat one to add to your classroom library. The Crowns of Crosswall. So, let's, let me get some scissors and unwrap this and I'll show you guys what it is. Okay, I unwrapped it and it's this little bottle thing and there are directions here that says there's a small white tab inside that you have to pull to make it light up. So let's see what it does. I want to see if I can do it one-handed. If not, I may have to figure out how to put the, ca the camera. Yeah, let me put the camera down. Okay, so maybe you unscrewed this thing. Yes, there we go. Okay, there's a small white tab here. And then I bet you come back, bring it, screw it back on. Oh, it lights up. How neat is that? Can y'all see? It's actually, it probably just looks like um, the light is reflecting it from the window, but it's actually lit up. Let me pull you guys right here. Look at that. It's like glowing. You can see it there. How neat is that? That is so neat. I love this. Thank you so much, DE Knight, for sending this my way. I will be adding this to my classroom library this year. This is adorable. I love it. So neat. Okay, so I'm going to tackle this messy office and to see if it makes me feel better and more organized and ready to tackle some actual um, teacher, pay teacher work that hopefully I can show you guys what I'm working on. I know a lot of you have messaged me saying that you like to see that, so. I will try to anyways. It would make me feel better too if I could actually work on that. But so many things are getting in my way. Okay, so I'm just starting to clean my office. But I realized that I um, had never showed you guys what I got. Well, you can't even see it. It's all on me. I um, went to Target and Office Max and... Maybe there's some Hobby Lobby stuff in here. I don't know. It was a couple weeks ago. And I um, just thought I would show you guys what I got. I love when I see other teachers um, show what they got like at the tar Target Dollar Spot or um, just like stuff that they use in their classroom. I just find that really interesting. Maybe I'm the only one though. But I will quickly show you guys what this is so that I can get it put away because it's been here in my floor for several weeks now because that is my life right now. But let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so this I've already posted on Instagram and I've already shared my love of Astrobot's paper. It is very, very expensive, but it does last a very long time. There are 500 sheets in here and it is just the prettiest color. So I got that big thing of pink and then I also got this thing of green because honestly that was all I could afford because like I said it is expensive and if I had gotten every color that I wanted it would have been like $90 and I just couldn't justify paying $100 for paper so I got those two um colors let me tell you guys these scissors that you get at Hobby Lobby are the best scissors they're $2.49 but let me tell you I have multiple pairs of these in my classroom and in my house they are the best scissors you just can find them um like at the checkout um, like where they just have 
like random miscellaneous items they're there they're also um, like with the scrapbooking things they're the best I love them so I always try and get a pair when I go because they're so inexpensive um, my y'all uh, let me just let me flip you around because I need to talk to you guys about silhouette cameo it's that cutting machine if you don't know what it is I I know it is capable of so many great things and if I stuck with it I would be able to do it a little bit better I know that is the most complicated machine I have ever used in my entire life and I just it just takes so long for me to get something out the only time I really ever use it is in the summer because I do cut out a ton of stuff for my bulletin boards but it is just so hard to use but my mom um, wanted me to make like a mailbox decal for her so we were doing that and when you like have to weed out where it cuts and then like um, like if it's on an E and you have to weed out that middle part because you don't want that to stick on whatever you're sticking it on you have to like pick it out it's just so tedious and time consuming so I got um, a weeder and I haven't started making that mailbox decal for her so that's another thing to add to the list and then this they had on the 40% off and I wanted one in every color for the classroom but they only had um, a pink and a purple and I'm, I'm thinking I always go with like a just a bright color in general and do like blues and orange and greens and pinks and yellows and purples but I'm almost wanting to just do a pink and green classroom this year I don't know though y'all help me decide what do y'all think I've always wanted to do a pink and green classroom but then I just love blues and oranges and purples and yellows so I don't know but either way this will work because that's just adorable it was 40% off it was in the spring decor section and it was $9.99 so I got it for way less okay and then I got a couple of things from the Target dollar spot some of these are for classroom like for my VIP section and then some is just for a giveaway um, that I'm going to do on Instagram later on um, I got these cute little pencils those will probably be for the classroom the kids love those which they go and I never they disappear but I do like to supply them with them every once in a while I got these cute little push pins and these this one's stuck these cute paper clips love those I like to use those in my planners and then these are highlighters because I just have an obsession with highlighters you just never know when you're going to come across a really really great highlighter so I got those at Hobby Lobby I went in and I got I got these um, new scrapbook papers I am going to oh, I'm sorry there's a text I'm going to revamp my um, sorry I'm going to revamp my pineapple project the um, craft part of that so I got some new scrapbook papers to do that with this is also for the new um, craft part of the pineapple project I got giant wiggly eyes and a glue stick that's real interesting I know but and then I got in case I didn't know exactly what kind of or what size wiggly eyes I needed so I got these I've got like a bulletin board um, idea in my mind and I need to work on that and do that but for the big pineapple I'm gonna need these giant wiggle eyes and then for the little ones I didn't know if I needed this size or this size so I just got both because whichever ones I don't use I can use with something else because you always need wiggle eyes right then we have another Target bag. I'm sorry, I'm jumping around. I know, I'm just trying to get all of this put up and put away. All of this stuff, um, I know that n most people don't uh, buy things and just have them sitting in there um, in a room for weeks after they buy them, but I like to go and, and get what I need um, like all in the span of like a couple of days so that once I have everything, we live so far away from places that once I have everything, I can just stay at home and work. And for what I do and like what I make, I need a lot of different, um, you know, like little pieces. So um, about two weeks ago, my mom and I went to two different Targets, TJ Maxx's, Hobby Lobby's, um, office supply stores and we just got a lot of stuff and I just haven't had time to unpack it so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm not a hoarder I really do need these things I just have several 
other projects that have to be done first. So that's why I'm just now getting around to unpacking these. But anyways, I, um, at Target, I got a chalkboard in which you can see me in it. Um, it was the real pretty pink color that goes with that lemonade um, uh, like theme thing that they have going on this year. Um, I also got this, the balloons that say yay. I'm hoping that I can incorporate these in my classroom somehow. I don't exactly know how, but I'm hoping anyways. Um, I did find this. I know I mentioned uh, the other day, I'm dying to find the watermelon banner. I did not find it. I just found the melon banner. But Terry, she blogs at um, the uh, the Creative Apple. She um, found them for me and she's going to send them to me. So I'm going to love her forever when I get that. So, so thankful that I have sweet friends online that take care of me and buy me Target dollar spot things when I can't find what I want at my Target dollar spot. So I will leave her link down below because her Instagram and her blog, but her Instagram, fabulous. She has such an eye for design. She's wonderful. You're going to fall in love. But I'm so thankful that she is my friend and she is bringing me the other banner to go with this one. Okay, then, oh, see now this I could have been enjoying and of course with everything that's going on I forgot about it. The new HGTV magazine because this is the best magazine in the world for home design. I love this one. I love that blue door. I am so wanting a pink door for my house but I'm torn between whether that's really stylish or really tacky. <laughs> Y'all can let me know, but I love that blue door. Um, let's see what else we got. Here's another little TJ Maxx bag. Oh, now this one doesn't have anything for the classroom, but let me show you guys. There's my receipt. I always save my receipt. You gotta save your receipt for taxes. But this is the neatest, cutest thing. It is a makeup brush mat, and it's the shape of a pineapple. How cute is that? Um, I how much was it? Three ninety nine. When I wash my makeup brushes, I just scrub them with my hand. But I've seen people. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to. Yeah, there it goes. I've seen people use it with um, like use a mat and scrub the brush on the mat, and it looks. Hang on. It looks so much easier so when I saw that one I just knew I had to have it how neat is that so you just take your brush and you scrub it with whatever which I just used Dawn dishwashing liquid it's the best um, and you just scrub it there and then this is rubber so it'll um, wash away I thought that was really really neat though here we go back to Target I got a neat little reusable Starbucks cup because I like to drink water out of a tumbler like this. And I like the clear ones where you can actually see how much you've drank and how much you've got left. Those were only like $2. So I got one of those. And then I got this crate. That pink lemonade series or like theme at the Target Dollar Spot is right up my alley. And I had to uh, get the pink crate with a little lemon. I just love that. Y'all got y'all know that I love fruit and lemon is one of my, my, the lemons are my new pineapple this year. I just love the lemons. So I got those. And then, um, my mom got this cute, I haven't even given this, this to her. And she hasn't even realized it's not with her. For her new house, I got, um, this watermelon bowl because she loves watermelon. We are just fruit girls. Then I picked up two packs of construction paper at my local school supply store. Um, they have these packs where you can just get, let's see how many are in here, 50 sheets and they're, um, just separated by color. So I picked up a pink and a green one just in case I did want to do just the pink and green theme. Um, I don't know. I found these, which again, just like the light bulb, um, cutouts, they've got to be good for something. These little sticky notes. There's the different emojis. If you guys have any ideas or if you use these, let me know because I couldn't pass them up. They were like $2. Um, some of this stuff I got doubles for because I'm going to do a giveaway. Like these I got doubles for. They were in the Target dollar spot. It was the map of the United States. I thought you could, I don't know. There's just so many possibilities with this. 
for um, social studies teachers um, or reading teachers if you're doing some sort of nonfiction unit that you could incorporate this. So I got two of those. They were a dollar. Yeah, you gotta watch the dollar slot sometimes. They sneak in at three and five dollar. Um, then I got another one of these. I am gonna do a giveaway with these giant dice because they're really hard to find other than summertime and there's so many different things you can do with these in the classroom so I got three of those watch out for a giveaway soon actually I have like a YouTube giveaway since I've just like rediscovered my um, YouTube channel why don't I have a giveaway so if you want to win a box of giant dice there are or giant die I should say there are four in each one. There's a red, a yellow, a green, and a blue. If you want to win one of these, then leave me a comment below telling me what you would use these for. Um, and I will randomly pick three. I have three of them to give away. I'll randomly pick three winners of the giant inflatable dust. Then I got some more things at the dollar spot. Well, no, now these weren't at the dollar spot. I got another one of these. One's to give away. One's for me. Um, I got these little things. These are note cards because, like I said, that pink lemonade brought up my alley. How pretty. I love those. Um, back at Hobby Lobby, I needed scrapbook paper, like I said, for the pineapple project, the new craft. So, oh, I don't know if I can unbag this with one hand. So, I got this giant... Um, this is my favorite paper pack and when you get them on sale it only is um, around ten dollars it has the different prints in the different colors those I just find so handy and so helpful they are double-sided I love these I go through these more than any other thing um, as far as scrapbook paper goes it is the best I love these and I always try to get them when they are on sale and then at the teacher supply store I went in there for bulletin board paper, but while I was there, I got two new borders by Teacher Created Resources and then Creative Teaching Press. And uh, I don't normally like these little um, the cutouts, but this one I just absolutely loved. How cute is that little light bulb? I thought you could do so much with it. It's just light bulbs. How many are there? 36. But I just thought, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But they were just too cute to not pass up. <laughs> so if you have an idea, let me know. Because I really want to use them somehow. Okay, so that was my mini haul. Um, now I have to put all this stuff away. And figure out where to put it. Because I'm in the process of like t packing up my office. But I've got to use it too. So it's a fine line of packing stuff away but also keeping stuff that I need to work on so I um, have my work cut out for me this afternoon so wish me luck <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit of work done because I had to stop early and go into town and um, before that I was straightening up the office like y'all saw. I still haven't finished that either but I just had to stop and um, so I wanted to get a couple of things done on this warm up unit because it would just make me feel better. So it is a late night in the office. I just realized though as I was editing the vlog too that I never like ended the vlog for today. So. For the sake of continuity, I wanted to pop in real quickly, even though my hair has lost all of its curl, and I am sure my face needs powder, and my eyes are tired, but I just wanted to pop in and say that this was for today, um, and 
currently at the vlog right now it's like 43 minutes long so probably this needs to be the end of the entire vlog connection is horrible here and it takes like three hours to upload that 30 minute video and the other one was i think 20 minutes and it took about two hours um so it's a long time so i know that if it gets much longer <laughs> i might as well just have to go to like a mcdonald's or a starbucks or something and try to upload it because my wi-fi i just cannot handle it so i will just end the vlog here um tomorrow is tuesday and then wednesday is fourth of july so i'll try to get this up tomorrow because i know a lot of you guys probably won't be on youtube on fourth of july so cross our fingers that you're seeing this before fourth of july or after who knows when but i will talk to you guys next week hopefully there will be some more classroom decorating involved because i'm really excited about that and um I'm excited to see how the classroom progresses. So, and I want to share that with y'all too. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.